is starting. So, Steve, you want to do the intro for this game? Why not? So basically, here we go. We are in the finals of the tournament, which is... Uh, what did you call the bracket? Three AE. We are in bracket AE <laughs> of the Air Mech Double Kill Tournament presented by Grizzly Wing, sponsored by Carbon Games, organized by RUI. I am Steve. We are on RUI's uh, YouTube, ch uh, not YouTube, Twitch channel. Uh, and I've got RUI here on me. Up in the top corner here on Duel, we have Mimo, consisting of Turkleton, pulling out that pumpkin saucer. Nuclear Pizza in his support role as that Envision Neo. Envision. I, I cannot talk today. No, dude, <laughs> I mess it up Osprey. like crazy, yeah. <laughs> and uh, on the bottom half, uh, we've got Team. Winged Walruses. Winged Walruses! <laughs> <laughs> Consisting of Broadside breaking out that wonderful Alpha Striker and tangibility in a very basic, straightforward Striker itself. And here we go, RUI. Game is on. What do you see happening for this game, man? Uh, Any predictions? It's, uh, you know, Duel is uh, probably the most played map of any map. Um, in, in the air mech map pool. Um, I am aware that Broadside doesn't really like Duel, and I'd have to tend to agree with the reasons behind it, because it's kind of mid-centric, and uh, you know, it's kind of about all about that mid-fight. Um, but uh, what's, what I, you know, I know that both teams are 100% aware of all the common strategies in this, uh, you know, on this map, and uh, right now they are both going straight for mid, and both from the same oh. angle. And uh, Turkleton getting kill on broadside there. Um, so it will put the green team a little bit behind in that mid fight. And Turkleton and Nuclear Pizza um, are a little bit ahead. 35 to. Th oh, well, they're technically a tad bit behind. Now it's even 35 to 36. So uh, don't count, count out anyone quite yet. The, um, for some reason, we do have a couple of flamers dropped by tangibility. And dropping three at a time. Gonna try to take that up was under control. But uh, there's so many tanks on the left side that there's. I mean, he's not gonna be able to do it. A couple creeps walk in. They will be able to get it. It will get them a little bit of experience. Oh, and I did not just notice there are a couple of distraction jokers sent here to this um, to the fort. Nothing defending. So Turkleton is forced to respond and death ray himself oh there are some gemini moving out or some tanks moving out by the carbon team on oh, as actually has gotten them a pretty good position and has gotten them the the forward position on this mid fight with their tanks uh that it has the nuclear pizza very very close to going down but uh winds up doing a nice little dance gets out of there survives and just for the fact of taking a tiny little bit of damage on the main base, I mean, taking over this mid power station is is very significant. Oh yes. But I mean, we are not dealing with um, you know average players here with these high level players on here. I would not discount anybody just because that they lost mid at this point. There, there's oh, yeah. still a lot of fight left to come in this You're match. You are definitely 100% correct, but we do have Memento Mori moving out after the uh, after Wing Walrus has tried to um, go for that uh, close outpost cheese, and there's pretty much nothing defending here at uh, at, at Wing Walrus is close. Um, I think this will probably do a good amount of damage. It might not be able to take the outpost over, but it will uh, you know clean up a lot of units. Um, oh, actually, never mind. This is uh, and they, they and Nuclear Pizza changed the command to attack and broadside now trying to finish off the Longhorn reaching their fort. They do have that lunchbox, so they do have that overshield. And Tanji now with a couple jackals. That was a really, really strange push out, um, I would say. Uh, that was a little overly aggressive. And, uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it didn't work very well for their team. And Broadside and Tanji were able to defend very, very well at that. I mean, not necessarily well, but, you know, do uh, pretty <laughs> standard defense. That was very, that was very effective. And uh, now they do uh, have the middle outpost pretty much under the control, and uh, they are they are outnumbering the unit count of um, oh, of um, of Memento Mori at this point, and even at this mid fight. Uh, that they are, but I mean, definitely this mid is nowhere clear as to who it is that's still going to wind up with it. I mean, so much back and forth, so much resources going into it. The only potential drawback is, is because it's so focused on anything, is that in the end, whoever really solidly winds up with this, the other team is going to be at such a major disadvantage because they put so much time, effort, and money into trying to take it, and it didn't work out for them that if, if they don't have a different strategy under their belt or something along those lines, they could be in a really bad situation very, very quick. 
Oh yeah, and that's uh, kind of looks like that's oh, well, it's it's sort of weird. There's no units here at the mid for uh, for the green team. The carbon team has a lot of units, but less units in their unit, uh, you know, less unit cap right now. So uh, it's 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 just a little bit strange. It, it, you know, just looking at the numbers, it looks like the that the carbon team threw away a lot of units. But uh, if you look at the units out on the field, the green team doesn't really have that much support at mid. Now the carbon team has been forced to pull back, and uh, the green team is uh, getting a better foothold on this mid Tanji with his patrolling jokers. Uh, it's really really great for those um for distracting tank fire as tanks have really really slowed uh, you know the uh, turret rotation for the most part nowadays except for gemini gemini have really really good uh you know anti-medium and anti-light capabilities um and uh, what you see on the carbon team is half and half so uh it does look like the carbon team uh yeah has uh, kind of given up on doing a direct mid uh, attack Oh, and we do have Broadside grabbing that that credit box. Uh, the other credit box, I guess that was stolen already by the um, by Memento Mori. And, uh, yeah, or, or it was stolen by Tanji. I'm not sure. Uh, did you did you happen to catch that, Steve? No, I've been trying to actually figure that out as to who got it. I'm, I'm guessing it was Memento yeah. Mori, but I am not 100% sure. I did not see it actually happen. Broadside did get the right one, and he did just now do a scout of the fort. Um, it, uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's it's uh, the carbon fort is not defended whatsoever, but is it undefended enough, um, or do they have enough units, actually, to go in for a killing blow instead of wasting a lot of their high-cost tanks? Tanji is just sending, or it could have been Broadside, too, because they're both going with the, with the, with the uh, Joker um, in the loadouts and uh, it does look like Tanji is doing the repositioning does allow allow broadside to kill a couple more units here on the um on the forward mid fight and uh, the jokers do go down a couple of tanks get allocated for that fort defense by memento mori but uh oh and we do have a jammer out on the field for um for memento mori um so it will uh, kind of nullify that uh, that uh, that artillery attack what was that steve I mean, one of the things I was really surprised about is that since the fact it was just strictly a Joker push was the fact that both members of Memento Mori actually decided to respond and try to deflect yeah. it, leaving Broadside completely open and do what he wants. I mean, that's nothing against Nemo, but that's not something I would actually expect from a, a higher tier team to both of them respond strictly for a few jackal jokers whatever ones that they yeah. were yeah you know but what i think it might still stay on the foreground you know what i think it might have been um they probably it's very likely they didn't scout it uh you know in their in their normal game view they, they might have only been able to scout it on their minimap and when you see a long line of green dots coming for your carbon fort um and you you think oh man that might be tanks then you, yeah, that it's definitely something that requires that urgent attention. So that's kind of an interesting strategy that uh, Tanji's going. I don't know if he's uh, Im if he's planning on trying to s sort of deceive M uh, Mimo, um, you know, in 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 that. Uh, they don't. They they might not be sure what's actually approaching their fort. But uh, Tanji and Broadside using so many jokers here, very effectively, I might add, uh, killing, uh, using them to uh, contribute to money maker harass. And Tanji actually killing quite a lot of money makers in just that trip alone. I think he killed two of the, for the price of two jokers. And I don't think they're actually rebuilding quite yet. And even patrolling around this uh, this forward outpost, lots of tanks. But uh, you know. It's it's 78 to 43 right now. The outpost, uh, the upkeep difference is growing and growing very very slowly. And now we do have a death push oh. coming out. Oh man, that's a that's a lot of Longhorns, Steve. That is a lot of Longhorns. A few Jokers in the front lead, but uh, that is a lot of damage that's coming in. And if uh, now if Memento Mori thinks that you know, hey, it's just uh, it's not going to be anything other than a few Jokers, they would be caught off guard. But yeah. clearly, uh, Nuclear Pizza did see it, see it. He did spot it. And I think they have enough of a defense that. Uh, so long as they support their units, uh, I don't see much oh my. from this Oh my! Tanji all. did a, a switch to T and uh, a mass hold position. So now the, 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 uh, that that fort allocated defense is going to pretty much not... I don't, I don't want to say go to waste, but uh, you know it's not going to work the way that, that it kind of needed to. And they're even pushing in to the uh, the forward outpost. They have the close outpost incredibly well surrounded. Uh, we are only less than eight minutes into this game, and broadside and tangibility pretty much... Uh, very very close to dominating. It's just pretty much one outpost left that back corner outpost and the question is do they even need it? Um, <laughs> and uh, now we do have a counter push by Mimo for their close outpost uh, So they will be able to get that back But um, you know Mimo has lost their forward and broadside and Tanji now working on the corner post and uh, Clearing units left and right. Um, they will get this outpost neutralized Turk and nuclear focusing on that close uh, You know and, uh, and nuclear pizza now does see the close is or their their back corner outpost is completely uh, Neutralized there's nothing there is just a longhorn in support and Tanji even taking a little bit of extra time to try to kill any smoking black units on 
on the Mimo side. Um, it's 28 to 69. Uh, it's it's it's. Uh, I would call this already. Um, you know, Mimo is so far behind, and and Broadside and Tanji know what they are doing when they are ahead, and it's just a little ridiculous how they, how well they were able to do this. Um, it was just yeah. It's just I am astonished by their play at this point. And this really goes to show for those people that might be uh, watching this, whether you're watching on YouTube or you're watching right now live on Twitch, um, it really goes to show, guys, that if you're sending in some units, some tanks to an attack and a base attack, you see that there's so much uh, defense right there, don't be afraid to turn around and take half of your push and redirect them to another place. I mean, that one movement basically was the entire, most likely the determination of this entire match was the fact that Tangibility let a few uh, yeah. tanks still stay in there for the distraction, but sent two-thirds of those tanks backwards to an outpost instead. Um, that to me really is is a big deciding factor of when everything changed in this match. Oh yeah, and 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 uh, you know I always say switch to T. You know why switch to T? I I, I think my viewers are tired of hearing that, but uh, but uh, you know that pretty much. I don't know if that. That was, uh, I don't know if maybe that push would have worked pretty well anyway. Maybe it would have been able to, to break that fort defense, but that's kind of a maybe. Um, it, you know, Mimo had a lot of tanks there to make that defense, and it, th that probably was the winning move of this entire final match. Um, and uh, at this point, they uh, they have the they have almost entire map control, putting so much pressure on that fort. 66 to 22, and broadside and tangibility just gonna slowly take this close outpost. And now they are finally dominating. Well, after 30 seconds, uh, they will be in imminent danger, um, or they are in imminent danger. In imminent I danger. should say. <laughs> and uh, now, now in 20 seconds. Uh, yeah, and and now nu nuclear and Turk. Oh god, nuclear pizza almost Whoa. getting focus fired. Um, I mean, w would it have really mattered? Probably not. They are far enough behind to pretty much call this game already. Turk actually able to kill quite a lot of units just with... Oh wow, kill three artillery with his death rate like insanely fast. And uh, oh, Broadside getting the kill on nuclear pizza though. Um, nuclear pizza keeping Turk alive but getting himself killed. And uh, so this, this, this uh, top close outpost has been neutralized. So they are not... They are no longer in, do in danger of being dominated but... Uh, they are still in danger, period. Um, of being... They're still in danger of being dominated, just without the game saying that you're it, being Yeah, dominated. without the game mechanic domination, they are still in, in danger of actually being dominated in the definition of the word. However, they... I mean, I would say that they... They almost had it with that initial push. Um, you know, it, it was a little weird how they went out so early. I think that actually, if you're, if you're gonna call the tank push from, uh, from mid, switch to T instead of going to Y, and the Jokers as well. They were switched to T. If you're going to call that the game-winning move, I think the, the I think the move that lost the game for Nuclear Pizza and Turgleton is probably the um is probably that initial time that they sent out from mid when they had I would say they had I mean they obviously had the advantage in that mid fight, but then they started to send out units, and that was so uh, honestly that's one of the most confusing things I've ever seen, especially from a team like Nuclear Pizza and Turgleton. Um, really, really surprised to see that, um, and you know, it caused them to lose a lot of units. Bro uh, broadside and tangibility were able to heal them, uh, not heal them up, but uh, you know, in, the, in that approach to the fort, in that approach to that uh, outpost, um, it, uh, it, uh, it, 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 that's they were able to kill everything. Pretty much, I mean, there's no other way to put it on there, and I mean, I, I really f hate to say it because, like I said, I mean, Team Mimo was a, a favorite for this tournament. Uh, their play style has always been nothing but just A game the whole time, so it was really, a, I would say, like a surprising movement for them to feel that they were ready to go and push before <laughs> yeah, it was look, time. Nuclear and actually, they're pizza actually just said that. It. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Nuclear yeah. Pizza just said that, and that, yeah, that was probably the, what decided the game. And there we go. That is it. GG. Finals goes to Tangibility and Broadside. Our champions are Team Wing Walruses. And uh, great game by Team Memento Mori. Um, great approach, not great approach, but uh, I guess great progression toward this stage of the tournament. But our champions today of the double kill tournament, our double kill champions are Broadside and Tangibility. Team Winged Walruses. Yes. Yes. <laughs> GGWP. And, and